Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are in Digby in the brand new crab vessel Saga. So obviously, um, it's not the real name of the boat, but um, we've changed it to be the name that the boat officially is in um, Deadliest Catch. So the Saga. If you guys have a name for the boat, leave it in the comment section, or if you prefer me to leave it as just Saga. Then as it is in real life, we'll leave it at that as well. But you guys let me know in the comment section. Um, let's have a look at the upgrades. We're going to do the storage, of course. Um, we always go with storage, always go with the engine. We always go with our radar, our autopilot. We'll go with our good sonar. We'll upgrade our buoys. Not going to worry about the searchlight this time. And we'll get the thrusters just in case. So half a million on that. Plenty of money. Um, let's go to, with fishing gear. Uh, we've got all the pots on board. We should have all the bait on board. Yep, five in total, which isn't much, really. Uh, let's look at the bar for tips. Nope, nothing there. What about the crew? Do we have everybody on board? We do have five people. That's all we need. So let's um, head on out of here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly set up of course. See, it's still got the issues down here with these lobster pots we put in, which is weird. Uh, I don't know. Um, right, I want to go like this way, because there is that boat that we've run into before. Um, just like that. We'll just go autopilot. That way we can have a quick look around the boat while it's um, the autopilot is doing its own thing. Right, so I've looked around in the cab. So we've got a door behind us, which goes out to where the crane controls are. That's pretty good. Wish there was an easier way to get down just from here, um, back into the cab that way. This way is the back of the boat. We can climb up onto the top of the boat, have a bit of a look around, watch over the crew, make sure they're doing the right thing. The engine stacks. Blowing all the smoke out. Over here, we'll go back down. There's a few boats in there, actually. I wonder if they're um, selling as well. Right, so this way we go back inside. So let's go back inside. Uh, we'll shut both doors. We've obviously got the captain's chair with the sonar and the map. Autopilot, music, holy but buttons that I don't think we can do anything with. Our thrusters, direction our speed, um, our horn, I don't think I can press it from here, yep there we go, our um, total catch, our search lights, we should have our other lights just along here, we'll see our chair controls, PDA, uh, just some rubbish laying around, some coffee cups and magazines and the usual stuff, our little laptop area, as I said I'd like to be able to use this for something anything just to check on our finances and stuff another spot down here with another laptop go downstairs have they call it the galley I guess where they eat is that's what it's called the galley I don't know um, so they eat in there obviously there's gonna be some rooms in there I think right in here you can actually come into here so this could be the captain's quarters this could be my room me by myself and everyone else can sleep in here. Well, actually, we can open the door. Oh, no, we're going to have to share with somebody. Who are we going to share with? I don't know. Don't know. Looks like the water's actually coming through the boat, too. All right, so come out on to the deck. We'll come around this side. We've got the crane over here. Stack of pots. This is where the crabs will get thrown in. We'll see our launcher. Do have the yeah the deck lights are on. It's not much light here. Um, yeah, the launcher, obviously, the reeler where we haul the gear in. Um, this will probably throw the pot over and stuff like that. Uh, this way we have our freezer door. Oop, open the door. That don't know where that goes. Um, let's actually do some bait while we're here. Go up up to the front of the boat. We go up here. Oh, that's a shame. It'd be cool if we could go up there. So to the front of the boat. 
keep an eye on what's going on in the area. Um, back down. Let's grab another bait. Throw it in. Cut it up. That should obviously chum out to the bottom. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do is throw... Uh, where, how, where's Emma cooking? Pearl's got the better cooking. Uh, doesn't matter. We'll throw Pearl over there. Alright, what we'll do is we will now... I guess, do we fast travel? We just... Well, let's just uh, remove that. And we'll go to the Gulf of Maine. 4 hours 45 minutes. Alright, we'll throw Pearl back so she can get some rest. Uh, what I want to do is come down here to where the crab is. But I'm thinking... Um, thinking I want to sort of follow like a line like this. I don't know, something like that. And then maybe I come back up this way and up to there and then across and then back down again and then potentially back to the top I don't think we're gonna obviously get through all of that on the one string I don't know if we should do uh, I don't know how many we should do should we get throw out 10 pots per string 15 pots per string I don't know. I don't really know what we should do. So, all right, we'll go with Pearl. She can paint, bot, paint, bait, and set the pots. Um, who's good at the crane? Rudy, Josh, Rudy, Victor. Victor's probably got the most stamina. So, where's Victor? Oh, get away from that. Uh, Victor, there. We'll put him on the crane. Let's go to our sonar. So she'll bait that pot when it's ready. I don't know if five knots is going to be fast enough. I guess we'll wait and see. And I don't want to put the pots too close together either. So hopefully, where is he? Oh, here he comes. So that must be where they hang out. The crew must be hanging out in here. So he'll come through. Um, he'll come up here. Jump on the crane. Bring us a pot over. Wish you would hurry up because there's some crab right there. We're going to miss it, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to miss it. So we'll see how quick she can bait. We can set and then how quickly he can get another one to her. So that way we can increase our speed. So let's throw one out on top of this crab. It's our first one in. I don't know if it's going to matter where we actually go, but I'm thinking like on the side of the ledge here, where it goes from like 100 to 150 meters deep or whatever it is. Might be not a bad spot. Right, so there's another one just here, but I'm pretty sure we set it just there, didn't we? But she's ready to go already. Um, so let's go up to eight knots. It's going to take some time. There's plenty there. We can't throw it just yet. We go. We throw it down now. It might be a little bit too late, but we'll throw it in because there was two there and one here as well. So I'm thinking the crab might, you know, like to come along the edge here. I don't know. I don't know how realistic it's going to be, but we'll see how we go. Um, one thing I want to know from you guys too, are you guys happy to see time lapse? So, for in this instance, you know, I'll come in and do maybe, you know, bait three or four pots, throw them down and then time lapse the rest of the string um, until we're ready to start hauling in. Would you prefer to see that, or you prefer to see 100% of everything? You know, it's up to you guys. You guys need to, to let me know what you prefer to see. Happy to do it either way. Um, if we do time lapse, it's probably going to be better for you guys because you'll get to see more. I know a lot of people don't like time lapse, but 
you know, we'll be able to advance through episodes a bit quicker if I can time lapse instead of having to record you know everything every second of, of every episode for you guys but um, it's up to you guys as I said let me know alright so we've got another pot ready to go we just need to wait and um, right on top of a crab there we go so that's four now what do we have fifty five I think we had so if we throw it eleven 11 per string. That'll give us 5 strings. Now I'm not sure how long to leave between each string. That's the other thing I'm not sure on. But we'll work it out as we go I suppose. So 8 knots. I think is a 2 bow. We could probably do 10 knots. Just to give us a little bit more speed. also got a, um, a new game that I've been sent a code for so it's um, can't remember what it's called now Fishing Sim World I believe yeah Fishing Sim World Bass Pro Shops Edition so I'm going to bring that to you guys as well so another another fishing game but um, a little bit different to obviously Fishing North Atlantic and, and Barrent Sea but be cool to bring another fishing game to the channel because a lot of you guys seem to like the fishing stuff so see how we go with it we're in a bit of a a lull here at the moment with no crab at all which isn't um isn't promising now I can't remember what they increased the pot sizes to I think up to like 1300 kilos per pot of crab in total if you get on a really good spot so if we get on one of those decent spots we'll throw down a like a crab marker if we don't then I guess we um, just try and find some better spots wow this is not a good spot we're in at the moment there's plenty of other stuff around there we go, there's a crab. Yay! Oh, two crab, three crab. That's not a bad spot. Three crab in the area, which is good. Some mackerel. Some tuna. Redfish, silver hake. Um, haddock, I think. Oh, I can't remember what they are again now. Alright, so another pot ready to go. That's what I'll do guys is I'll um, cut the episode here, throw it out first, cut the episode here and um, I'll set all the rest of the pots that are on the boat so strings of 11 I might have three hours between or maybe two hours between um, strings I guess and we'll um, see how we go if that's gonna be a pretty good time or not. Right so that one's gone as well so yep yeah, I'll um, see you guys back here Hello Jiffy. Rightio guys, we're back. So, quickly show you guys the map. Um, these things are still annoying the crap out of me. So we went our first string all the way down through here to pot 11. We went from 12 all the way up to 22, 23 all the way down to 34, I think. Wait, 22, 23 get to 34 I don't know I can't remember now <laughs> anyway um, yeah 33 I should say so 23 to 33 then I went 34 all the way up to where did we go 44 yeah 44 and then 45 all the way down to 53 and I actually went around here and I found nothing so come back this way went 54 55 so plenty of pots all in this area hopefully we can get something decent um, that stuff is the stuff we put there I did put another one in here because I had about six snow crab on the radar so let's hope that um yeah we can get something to work so Victor can go back on the crane um, I don't know what else we need to do, just sorting crabs I guess, so 
Sorting crabs, she's not very good. Emma's pretty good at sorting crabs. Josh, not very good. Rudy, better. Um, so, Josh. Pearl. Josh is a little bit better, I think. Right, so let's get stuck in and we'll see what we can actually get on these first few pots. Now, one thing I did notice was a lot of these pots I put down, there's bait still in there, I believe. Yeah, there's still bait in there. I did see them actually open it and put bait in. But then I said to um, set unbaited pot, and I'm like, what? I know it was definitely baited because I seen her do it. So I'm not quite sure what's going on as far as that goes, but yeah, that's um, really strange. I know it's definitely baited, so we'll just see how we go, I suppose. Um, let's come down and have a bit of a look. So I left, I left it three hours in between strings as well, so I don't know how full we were, but he should come grab that and put that back. Where is he? Yeah, up there. You guys gonna, there we go, you're gonna start sorting. There's definitely bait in here, and I can't actually put any more bait in, so. Oop. There's definitely bait in there, as I said. Oh god, let me put this thing back. You gonna let me put this back, or no? Close freezer door. Where's, never mind. I hope that went back. <laughs> Might not have. No, I don't think it did. Oh well. Right, let's head towards our next pot over here. We've definitely got some crab on the boat though, which is good. I don't know how much. I don't know how long it's going to take them to sort it. And I think I should probably go and help. Might be a bit quicker. Be good if we could have another person sorting. Four people. Um, Emma does 22 an hour, 19 and 18. So, I mean, they're not too bad, but not great. So make sure we pull up beside this one, but we won't go past it. Oh, they're getting through it slowly. I think what we're going to do is maybe pull in this first string um, and see how he went with um, total catch, and then I might um, come back next episode and continue on, and maybe even time lapse the rest of the of the haul because it's going to take quite a while to get it all done. I wish there was a quick way we could just go straight down to the deck. Instead of having to run down like this all the time. So I can't actually do anything here because there's just no room for me. Uh, we don't want to reset the table. Yeah, so I can't even stand over here and sort crap, I don't think. Ah, uh, there we go, what do we get? Um, get rid of that catch. 272 snow crab, 342 kilos. So, I don't know if we times that by 55, whatever that's going to be. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, about 20,000 kilos. So yeah, that's definitely not um, not going to be good. We need to definitely get more crab on board than that, and it doesn't look like there's a great deal in that one either. I don't know how viable it's going to be to actually go crab fishing, because I know the price is quite um, low. Yeah, only $13 compared to lobster, which is you know, way higher. Yeah, so unless we get on a massive, massive honey hole, I guess we're going to struggle a little bit. Right, so we should be able to pull up next to this pod as well. The thing I'm worried about is... Um, so they're, they're already nearly ready to go. Well, that's ours in there. And yeah, so by the time we get through to here, they might be ready to go as well. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that three hours was enough between strings. Otherwise, we might have to, you know, throw out a set of ten and then 
look at it again after that. But I think it's going to be a bit of trial and error once, obviously, our guys get a little bit better at, um, you know, sorting and can do things a little bit quicker. I think that'll definitely help us as well. God, they're taking a while, aren't they? Guess we might as well grab a um, screenshot. I don't know which way is the best way to go. Let's um. There we go. That will do. It's probably a bit better. Um, what did we have? It wasn't very much in that one either. I don't know why this one keeps coming up. Catch two forty nine. So yeah, it's not a good one either, I don't think. We'll head towards our next pot. Definitely not amazing. So I'll have to see how we go. If these guys can't do it quick enough, I'm going to have to go down and help. It's going to be a bit of backwards and forwards, running up and down, which is going to be a bit of a pain, but it's going to be better than having to wait forever. For these guys to get it done. Um, can actually click on. Can leave it like that. Five ninety. Whoop. Going too fast. Right, let's slow it right down. Okay, might as well turn the boat off while we're waiting. So like there's a decent amount in that one. Better than last time. Still need a faster way to get down here. Good if they could put in like a little button that we press to sort of jump up and down. Looks like a big one. Big mama crab. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take one of these guys off, honestly. Um, Josh is 18. Yeah, so where's Josh? Take Josh off. And I'll go down and help. Otherwise, it's going to take us forever. I want these guys to build their stats, but when I head to the time lapse side of things, we'll bring Josh back out and let him do it that way. Um, why can't I sort crabs? Why don't let me actually come in in, in here and sort? Now, that is weird. Why won't you let me sort? I don't know. Alright, well, let's bring Josh back out again, I guess. Um, what did we have that time? 187 kilos, so not much. I mean, it looked like it was a decent one, but... Uh, where are we heading? Down to number 5. Probably wait for them to empty this out and then actually fast travel down there. Wait for them to actually look like they're starting to sort. You gotta wait for him to put that um that back away. There we go. Let's fast travel down. Uh oh, won't let me do it. Uh oh, get rid of that. No, can't fast travel while we're sorting. That's a bit of a bummer. Alright, get rid of that. I know we can obviously pass time, but you can't fast travel. Why does it keep telling me we've baited the pot when we haven't? This one's, you know, quite a fair way away. These are all ready to go now, so hopefully we can get all these in in time. Well, as I said, we might need to change it from 11 a string to 10 or, I don't know, something a little bit different. I don't know, I don't know how many to do per string if you don't do 11. To get an even amount of pots. Because if you do strings of 10, we'll have 5 left over, obviously. If we do strings of 9, that will have 1 left over. So if we do strings of 9 and then 1 of 10, yeah, that might work. Alright, start to slow down. Right. 
need a gut. The 600,000 is the quota. We probably didn't even need to upgrade the storage. With having a quota that small. And we're probably not even going to get close to filling it, to be honest. Or at least that's given a bit of time to... actually sort this crab out. So I pull up beside this guy. We'll wait, they should be done in a second. Right, so he'll bring that up on board. Uh, what do we get? 366.3, 292. What's that? No, that was lobster. So 292 is definitely the best one we've had so far. Alright, let's pedal to the metal to number 6. See, maybe we have to go in Emma's spot to be able to sort. I know there's got, there's got to be a way that we can sort. Like, we shouldn't have to rely on them to, to do the whole lot. Okay, I mean, at least we're getting crab on the boat, but they're, they're just not full. Really not full at all. Considering we followed their, um, like the tips and that from the bar, I'm surprised we're not in a little bit better spot. Alright, so what I'll do guys is I'll throw in another quick cut and I'll bring you guys back when we're hauling in our last pot and um, see how much we got for this first string and then we'll be able to end the episode. So I'll bring you guys back in a second. Right here guys, um, up to our last one now on our first string and the second string is just about ready to go. So I don't think three hours is quite enough between strings because these guys are going to be working their butts off for God knows how long. But hey, uh, they're getting paid for it so can't complain. Um, once we get the total weight of this one, I'll show you guys through the string. But we have 3,278 at the moment. So we had... Where did we start? Uh, yeah, here. So, 272 snow crabs were down here. Then we had 292. Then we had a couple of 346, 381s, which was good. And one in the middle of 533. So, three decent ones. And they were sort of down here. Um, so, I still think that the crabs... I'm going to remove that one. I still think the crabs are still obviously heading down this way. Uh, whether they're going in a straight line or not, I don't know. They might be, you know, coming this way. They might be going straight. Who knows? But I think a bit further south of where we are at the moment is going to be the ideal location because we're still not getting, you know, a massive amount where we are at the moment. But we're slowly filling the boat. So really can't complain. Although I don't think we're even going to have 4,000 kilos by the time we're going through our first string of 11. So yeah, if we times 4,000 by 5, as I said, about 20,000 kilos, if we're lucky. But um, look at these beautiful crabs. Look at these beautiful guys. Just not sure. Oh, that's a baby. That's a baby, baby one. Definitely need to throw that one back over. Yeah, the animations still aren't great. Oh, I wish they really worked on these a little bit harder. I know it's hard to probably get the animations to look good, but yeah, that just really does look silly. I'd rather them have it so it's not spinning around around circles. Maybe have them bend over, pick one up, and then actually look at it and turn it 180 as they're looking at it, and then disappear, and then pick another one up with their hand, and 180 again would be a lot more realistic than so they're playing a piano more than actually sorting crab, but God knows. But she's got a bit of a bald spot there. What's going on there, Emma? You've got... I say you've got a bald spot everywhere, but no, your hair is just the same colour as your skin. Here's... Um, there he is. Hanging out up there, just, just chilling, doing nothing. Let's quickly look at our bait situation. We are completely out. 
as far as the freezer goes, but we've still got some in here, so we have plenty. Right, they're just about done, so we'll head back up to the captain's quarters. See what they reel in this time. So 32 78. We've got 2,605 crab. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually um, 1,300 kilos or 1,300 total crab per pot. But that wasn't too bad. 472.5. 374 snow crab. It's good to see. So, um, Rightio guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here, I'll bring you guys back next episode, we'll continue on with our next string, and I might throw in a time lapse, and get um, all of this done, and um, see how we go when we head to port, how much money we make, and if it's actually worthwhile or not, so if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so, it's been Brito, thanks for watching, see you again soon.